Hey everybody, welcome to our special call. This is a super special call, you guys. Um, it's our brand new Emeralds of Rock Your Purpose. I don't know about you guys, but that is super, super, super exciting and a really, really, really big deal. Um, for anybody that's new or that doesn't know, I just want to kind of go over the ranks really fast. So we have, um, we have Silver Ambassadors. That's our very first rank that needs three people. Three people gets you to the first rank of silver. After that, we have super silver, and then we have gold, and then we have senior gold, we have ruby, we have senior ruby, and then we have our jewel status. And jewel status means emerald, that's the first rank of jewel status, and then we have sapphire, and then we have diamond, and diamond is the tippy top of the company. So when you are an emerald, that means that you get a free all expense paid trip for two to Maui, Hawaii. This includes car rental and everything, like your whole stay. They spoil us like crazy over there. We have luau parties and just all kinds of fun, exciting things. Um, they gave us really expensive flip flops. They've given away sunglasses. Like I can't even tell you, you get a gift every day you're in, that you go to your hotel room and they'll be like, welcome to day one of being in Maui and you'll have like a new hat or whatever. And so they give you gifts on your bed each day. It's so, so exciting. So it is a big, huge, fat reward um, for achieving such a huge, huge rank and a huge accomplishment. Um, and so the other thing is, is you get a Lexus. You get the choice to pick out a, your Lexus. You get um, the white car. Um, when you're a diamond, you get the black car, but all of the different ranks have the cars that you get to pick out. And it also means that you um, have the ability to make a six figure income, which is huge, huge, huge. So we'll have to put an income disclosure in for you guys to kind of understand like exactly what does this even mean, but it means some big, big things, guys. It means big dreams coming true. It means financial freedom for our families, you guys. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to these lovely ladies. They are going to share a little bit about how did they get here? Like, what does this mean for their family? Um, a little bit about their stories. Like, what do they do on a normal basis? Um, and so I'm going to let's start out with Elizabeth Hefner and um, she can give you all the details about her, but she is a, I'll just give you a little short bit. She is a mom of four and she's a physical therapist and um, her and Lauren both just hit Emerald just a couple days ago, a week ago. So super exciting. Take it away, Elizabeth. Hello, good evening. I'm so excited to be on with you this evening. What an honor. Um, I'm still in awe. I'm still in kind of some shock of, wow, how did this even happen? But I do know how it happened. When I actually sit and think, um, it's from working hard and from sharing, from sharing something that has changed my life, my family's life, and so many others and seeing that and seeing the science and the background of the products um, you kind of just can't help but share so um, I started because I just wanted to combat some health issues some sugar cravings I thought that the program would be really good for my husband um, <laughs> and um, I thought wow this would be really good for him it's really easy to use the triplex and so let me see if, if I can, you know, start up these products. And so I had two friends kind of posting about Plexus at the same time. And Debbie Wynn was one of them. And I'm so glad that I chose to sign up with her because one, I've had a friend, developed a friendship with her and so many others through this opportunity. And, um, just that she's still doing the business. The other person actually had some stuff happen and she isn't really sharing anymore. And so I'm just so, so thankful that our team is in constant momentum and that we can learn from some of the best. So it's totally a God thing. Um, and then I just noticed that I really had some good health changes myself. So my testimony is all over the place. You guys can find that in Gut Health and Happiness pretty easily. I've done a couple, um, lives and got health and happiness too that you can check out as well. Um, but anyway, I have to say that just being a product of the product and just having a positive mindset have been really, really key. So 
you know, at work, it's so easy to be like, oh, I'm tired. You know, everyone's saying that. And I had to be really conscious to not say that. Like, you know, hey, I'm doing good. I just started saying to people, like, I'm doing good. Everything's good. You know, maybe there was an issue with a kid here or there, something that kind of puts you in this upset mindset. And so I just really decided to just not tell people about all of that and just say, yep, everything's good. I'm doing good. How are you today? And how can I help you? You know, and then um, having the mindset in the business of that, I have a product and an opportunity that people need and desire and that they could benefit it from so much and just really saying that over and over because then you're not shy about it it's like if you walk past somebody um a friend of yours at their desk and they're like oh, headache um are you just gonna walk by or are you gonna say hey um now we say hey i have some ease would you like to try it but people generally want to help other people right so if i see somebody with complaining of digestive issues or migraines or you know all these things that plexus helps with I definitely, it's very easy to naturally share something so awesome and to just really know like what we have is gold. What we have in this opportunity in these products is solid gold. And when I hit about gold, I was, I was walking around going, I'm a Ruby, I'm a Ruby. And I would even be doing videos or something and I would have to remind myself not to say Elizabeth Hefner, Ruby ambassador over here you know I'm gold and so I said I'm I'm a ruby I'm a ruby I just kept saying it in my head I don't like when I was first starting I was just like ruby you know it just seems so far away and like oh my gosh what a big amazing thing to hit is ruby and so then I hit ruby and then I hit senior ruby and then I hit emerald and so around the time I hit like ruby senior ruby I'm like I'm a diamond I'm a diamond like I just kept saying I'm a diamond and just having that mindset and then what do you do like if I'm saying I'm a diamond well what am I doing every day to make sure that I'm a diamond right and so that leads me into my IPA so I do personal growth I make sure that I'm reading my Bible and that's one of the things that I thought of when I very first started Plexus was well I'm not going to just do Plexus like this is gonna hold me accountable to spending time with the Lord and reading my Bible before I do these other things right like I just really in my own head was like I don't want to be over here doing this other thing until I know I've spent time with the Lord and so um, that I consider personal growth but also like John C Maxwell books network marketing books um, you know our book club is amazing um, I think that Debbie asked me to do book club before I even started sharing the products um, because I was teaching at the time, working full time as a PT, teaching a little bit on the side for kids to manage. My husband was in school. And so in my head, I'm like, I don't have time to, you know, talk to more people about this stuff. And, and so, which is so, so not true because the last, all these, uh, the last two years I've taught, worked full time and shared Plexus and continued to advance in my rank. So, you know, you just find the time to squeeze it in here and there. Um, but the point was, is that she said, would you like to do book club? We're doing this book. And it was a John C. Maxwell book, The 25 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And I like looked it up, like, oh, what's this book about? Who's John C. Maxwell? Oh, he's a retired pastor. He's a leadership coach. He's solid. Okay. Yeah, I'll be on book club. And I haven't missed a book club since. I don't think there's, I honestly don't think there's a book I haven't read um, that we've done. So I've always been on book club occasionally like every once in a while there'll be something family something going on where I'm not like on the call um, but I mean 95% over the last three years is my attendance rate on Monday night team calls and book clubs so then I started doing Monday night calls and learning more about the products and learning more about how to share and how to um, you know be inspired and how to be inspiring to people and so that has just really led to some sex success I think as well and then I do a lot of relationship building I talk to people like hey you know tell me about work tell me about your family tell me about this like I really really talk to people and then you know obviously if I see a need like someone's posting about their migraines I'm gonna reach out to them right away like I'm sorry that, that you're having migraines um, I Plexus has helped so many including myself are you open to hearing some more information um, but I do, I talk to people a lot. I, I send lots of messages. I send voice messages and I just really care about people. I really do. And so it's easy to 
want to talk to them, but I also don't wait too long to bring up Lexus either. Like I definitely talk about both. I talk about them, like asking them questions about themselves and I share little bits of the products, the information, testimonies, asking to, um, if I can add, or telling, I actually tell them, hey, I'm gonna add you to our gut health group, accept the invitation, because there's lots of information in there that I'd like you to have access to, something like that. So, and then I do keep my Plexus information simple. I let the experts do the talking. Jill Wernas is a nutritionist. Ami Darling is a nutritionist. Wendy Larson um, became a master nutritionist after she had success with Plexus from a tick-borne illness. Um, Plexus has put out these amazing videos that are also found on YouTube. So sending these links to people, but keeping my like, well, this is how it's helped me to a minimum. Yes, I want to share my success, but really letting the experts do the talking. And really, I gauge people really well. Like, are they going to want all the science of this product or do they want the how this is going to help them first. And so I share a, a balance of those two things as well, depending on their personality. And then um, I really show them like how this could help them, like how our probiotic is really going to help them, how our variety pack is really going to help them specifically. Um, and so they can see the benefit of that and what's in it for them. I also had to learn um, a couple of things. One was to involve my family, involve my kids, involve four kids into, hey, like, we're going to go to the park. I'm going to play with you for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to work. I'm going to be right on the bench. You can still show me your tricks on the swings. I'll still be with you. And after I've worked for 20 minutes, then I'm going to come play with you again for a few minutes. And manning, managing that expectation. Um, then during different times, like this last month of hitting Emerald and it being a bigger goal um, to just really, really focus and hone in on and put my, give myself the time frame of April, um, you know, they had to manage the expectation that, hey, this month, we're, mom was going to be on, on the computer a little bit more. Um, and letting them know, like, before school, like when they were going to school, when you get home tonight, I'm going to have a call. And so this is what's going to happen. So managing those expectations before they would come up and communicating really well to my husband as well <laughs> so that he didn't feel totally on the back burner over there. Um, and then helping them dream with me too. So when, when I get to diamond for real, cause I am a diamond, but when I officially hit the rank of diamond with Plexus, we're getting a dog. My husband says, wait, they just said we're getting a dog. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's one of the things we talked about. I figure we have a little bit of time to figure that all out. But yes, we're getting a dog when I hit diamond as well as a swimming pool. So, you know, we, we don't know what all of that is really going to look like yet. But, you know, letting the kids dream and, and stuff is really fun too. And then the other thing that I did want to talk about is self-care. So I don't know if Melissa Allen is on this call, but she's always reminding me that, um, Yes, I probably need to sleep more. So I have had to learn to juggle making sure I'm sleeping properly as well as eating properly and taking care of my body. And, but balancing that out with not a, an excuse of, well, I just need to sleep tonight. Oh, I need to sleep tonight and not actually do my IPA. So definitely a juggle a balance of, you know, making, letting some things go in order to be able to take care of myself and manage the the emerald side of the plexus business you know and so i've learned that i cannot just go six billion miles per hour no matter how amazing plexus is our bodies still do require the basic care of being slept <laughs> sleeping and eating properly so um not that i'm perfect every day but i definitely have have to sometimes manage my own expectations of myself, if that makes sense. Um, the other last thing I wanted to bring up is just meeting my team with where they're at and what they need. So some people are going to join you and just want to hit the ground running. They're going to go to Pink Power. They're going to go to Rock Your Purpose. They're going to go to Gut Health and Happiness. They're going to go into their back office and they're just going to look stuff up and they're going to find the videos and they're going to you know, figure it out. 
And some people need a little more guidance. They need more step by step. They need a little more like, here, have you looked here or here, send this. Um, and that's fine. Everyone is different and everyone will eventually get to that point where they feel more confident and comfortable sharing without, you know, always coming to us right away. Um, but in all areas, just in leadership and sharing the products and the business opportunity and making their Facebook posts um, to setting up their 3A chats. Everyone is at a different level and I just meet them where they're at and move forward from there and, and go with them. Like, okay, this is what we're going to do next. This is what we're going to do next. Um, and then just, I think I kind of talked about this throughout, but juggling the responsibilities of a full-time job and four kids and um, this amazing opportunity. And really it comes down to me managing my own expectations, you know, because I think in my head that I should have everything perfect and done and the laundry done and play with the kids for six hours a day and make sure there's a, an amazing meal on the table and all of that. And that's what I expect of myself. And even pre-plexus, that wasn't realistic. You know, I had un unrealistic ex expectations of myself even prior to plexus. So this has helped me to hone in on what's most important, to do what I need to do, um, to let some things go, to hire help. I hired a housekeeper um, to depend on my husband to do a little bit more and teaching the kids to do more jobs. And so through all of that, here we are, we're at Emerald. So pretty exciting. Oh my goodness. Yes. So, so, so exciting. I will never forget the first time that Debbie um, told us to get on a three-way call with Elizabeth. This is my new friend, Elizabeth and blah, blah, blah. And I remember her saying on this call like three years ago that she loved to teach and she couldn't wait until she could get on and like teach people. And I just thought that that is just so fitting, right? Like she does such a good job, doesn't she? Like she really captivates your attention here. But all of these things that she had to share is super spot on. It is so, so important to dream big, you guys. Like I will tell you in the beginning, just like Elizabeth, I did not want to work a business. I did not see myself as, hey, I'm a diamond. Like I didn't, I just wanted to get my products paid, you know? Like I wasn't looking at this being a big business or whatever. Um, but I know that she mentioned getting a swimming pool. Um, and I just want to throw in a little bit of inspiration before we hear from our sweet Lauren. But um, I said that when I hit Emerald, I was going to get a swimming pool. So I hit Emerald a year and a half ago. But we were renting our house that we're currently in. And you know, you can't really just put a pool into a house that you're renting. And so we bought the house. And I said, Okay, we're getting a pool. Well, then we end up moving. So we are moving to Maryland next month. And our house that we're buying has a pool. So I am so excited, you guys. So like dreams really do come true. Like you just have to do it. Like do dream big. Like just don't sell yourself short of your dreams. Like it really is something that adults should be doing. Dreams are not just for little children, okay? So um, with, on that note, without further ado, I want you guys to hear from Lauren. She is amazing, you guys. She, I always say that she is like an angel from God. She just came into the business um, at the right time and has just been such a blessing to her downlines, her uplines, her sidelines, and everybody. And she just um, has been doing this business. She'll share with you a little bit more, but she has been doing this business um, for just a little over a year, you guys. So super fast growth. Her team is amazing. She loves on them very well. She is uh, married to her hubby and they have their sweet dog together, Lombardi. So she is a dog mom. I saw her face light up when Elizabeth said that they were getting a dog. <laughs> um, so without further ado, Lauren, share with us a little bit of your story, how you got here, all those good things. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to speak after Elizabeth. <laughs> She's like Miss Teacher, and I'm like this. I was this shy little thing, you guys. I was not the type of person that would be here talking to you and giving you all this information. So this just blows my mind that I'm even doing this, first of all. I want to say that. Um, but I also want to tell you, like, a lot can happen when you put yourself into this business and let yourself grow because the fact that I am speaking to all of you speaks volumes about myself. So if you knew me before Plexus, which some of you on this call did, or maybe just Taylor, um, I was super shy and quiet before Plexus. So any of you can do this if I can do this. Um, I started, like Michelle said, about 16 months ago, a little over a year ago, and I just wanted to sleep better and I wanted to get my cycles regulated because I wasn't getting my period back and I 
didn't sleep through the night. I had to rely on um, sleep aids every single night and I would get like two hours of sleep and then have to work or go to school the whole next day because this had been going on for years and I would just live off coffee and coffee and coffee and then I wouldn't sleep at night and it was this awful vicious cycle so I knew that I had to find a different way because that just wasn't realistic for me that just wasn't something I wanted to do anymore um so I saw this person that is a, another physical therapist she was sharing about the products on Facebook I think I saw one post and I was like I need that <laughs> so I reached out to her and I started pretty much right away Jackie Hastings called me on the phone um and it wasn't actually her that I signed up with, but then it ends up being that she's my sponsor now. And she called me on the phone and I was like, I need to try this. So I signed up pretty much right away, which isn't always the norm. Um, and I'm so glad that I did. I was nervous at first and I just wanted the products. I was really against network marketing and I had always felt like everybody was trying to sell me something and I didn't want to be one of those people, one of those people. So I just was kind of not into it. And then I was like, but I don't really want to pay for my products. Like I would really like to get them free. So I just started posting and it just took off from there. Um, my friend Erin McIntyre joined me pretty early on and she might be on this call, but she um, is phenomenal. And if you know her, which you probably do if you are, because she's all over the place and a really great, great leader. She and I just started running together and that's kind of what picked up our momentum. I was a little bit, um, kind of timid about it at first and Aaron was like all out and I was like I gotta keep up with this girl so we just kept running together linking arms and it's just kind of continued ever since then this whole past year um, I really started taking the business seriously in March and then in May I hit gold and was like this is something that I need to do and take really seriously um, and at that point convention was happening that next month in June and I decided I wasn't going to go because I wasn't serious about it before and all the pictures flooded through and I was like why am I not there with those people so I will just tell you a little side note if you're not planning on going you should do everything you can to be there because um, I haven't even been there and I know that it'll build your belief and you'll want to go back year after year um, so make that a priority if you're not right now planning to do that. I definitely would do that. So anyway, May last year, I started really taking it seriously. And now it's May this year and I've gone from gold to emerald within that year because I make this a business and not a hobby. I spend a lot of my free time um, calling my people on the phone, getting a hold of them through Messenger, following up with people that are taking the products. Um, reaching out to new people. I'm doing my IPA in my free time and I don't watch TV anymore, you guys. Like, I think it's okay to watch TV. I'm not saying it's not, and sometimes I do, but really most of my free time, if I've got it, if I'm washing dishes or if I'm doing laundry, I have a training video on and I'm listening to somebody else that is inspiring to me tell me how they've done it because. I'm not gonna make my own way here. I'm gonna see what the other people have done to be successful and I'm gonna follow their lead. Um, if you want some examples of people that I follow, I did make a list because that was one of the questions you guys had. I love Sonia Dudley and Helen McFadden, mostly just because they are like our up, up, up line. They were some of the first people that even joined this company. They're like the first two or three diamonds that are, were ever part of Plexus. And because they clicked join, this whole ripple effect has happened and that's why we are all on this call right now. These people are amazing, they're incredible, they have influence and if they can become a diamond, I wanna know what they've done to do that. So I'm following them. I also follow Brooke Hemingway because she is shy and introverted or was um, and now she is a total rock star and a total boss babe and I love her and I just want to be as influential and amazing as she is so I follow her on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube I'm watching her videos like a lot she has really great advice and her team is amazing as well um, Jill Renfro she's super real I love her so much she's down to earth she's straight to the point she will tell you like it is and sometimes she's she even said that she'll step on your toes but it's stuff that you need to hear and it's mindset stuff to just get over yourself 
and to get over being nervous about talking to people about flexes, to get over the fact that you're doing network marketing, like this girl just tells it like it is and makes you believe and know that you can do this too. So she's amazing. Um, Marianne Anderson has just really great Instagram stuff. So I follow her. And then Emily Gibson, she's part of Brooke Hemingway's team too. And she um, just has a really great, vibrant personality. And it's something that I look up to, just wanting to get out of my shell a little bit more. And she has also, she went emerald and diamond really quickly too. And so I just like to see how she uses the products in her everyday life. And then broadcast that to her social media pages so naturally because I think that's really important to not be like putting up graphics that everybody uses like you guys put these products in your everyday life and show people that you're actually using them and they'll want to use them with you we can't just like put really random graphics up that are like really fuzzy and expect that people are going to want to buy that they're going to scroll right past it and think that we are just trying to sell them something to make money like show them that you're using them and actually love them because we know you do we all know that you love them that's why you're sharing so be authentic and be genuine and show that you really are using these products every day and people will want to use them with you um a lot of the other things that I've done in the past year, I really try to make no excuses. I think we all have them. I mean, and we all have used them before and I have to check myself and my leaders, I think need to check me sometimes and that's normal. And I just need to be honest that I'm making an excuse and get over it. Um, I'm coachable too. So if they tell me like, hey, you know, you'd really um, benefit from reading this chapter in this book or hey, this video would really help you to help that person on your team, or to help yourself, or to help somebody learn why this product would be good for them. They're always pointing me in the right direction so that I can figure things out for myself. And I think that that's so important as you guys all become leaders too, to not just always give people the information, but give them the tools to find it for themselves because that's how we duplicate ourselves and that's how people become successful is that they've duplicated themselves and then those people learn how to duplicate themselves and then we can all do this together and then it also empowers the other person that they know where they can find this information without you just handing it to them all the time. So um, as a leader, I hope that I'm doing that for all of you that are watching, that I'm just telling you like this is where you can find it and I want you to be able to find it so that you can help people later on too and become an amazing leader. So um, that's just a little side note. I really think it's important to not just spoon feed everything. We've got to empower each other to do this um, ourselves a little bit too. While linking arms, of course. Um, I really think it's important to have belief in the products, which we all do. If we're here, we know that they're amazing. We've been watching the testimonies, reading the testimonies, all the things. Um, we, our company is at the forefront of microbiome research and development, and we have proprietary blends, which means that there are no other products like this on the market. People cannot get these at Meijer and Walmart and Costco or wherever else they're getting their things. They can't get those products there. Our products are one of a kind, and um, it's important that you know that and believe that and can tell that to other people. Um, because your belief in them will build their belief in the products too. Um, you have to have belief in network marketing itself too. You cannot just um, be like I was in the beginning and be wishy-washy and be successful because that's not going to happen. If you're worried what people think about you, if you're worried about doing the network marketing business as a whole, it's something you're going to have to get over quickly so that you can start being successful because that will hold you back. So if you are one of those people, talk to your leader and develop some strategies to get past some of those roadblocks, because I know that was a huge thing for me. But once I got past that, it's when things started speeding up. So that's really important. Um, I also want you to know for sure that you have to have belief in yourself. You can borrow mine. I have belief in all of you, but I want you to learn how to have belief in yourself too, because that's what's gonna also spring you forward as well. Um, none of us are perfect. We're emeralds now, yeah. And you can say that we're emeralds and that's so cool. Um, and we're so excited about it, but we're still not perfect, you guys. We're still learning too. That's kind of how this goes. We were silver before, 
we had nobody under us before and then we were silver and then we were gold like we learned a lot of this as we grew and they call it learning as you earn um doing network marketing is so cool because it's like you're building yourself and learning about yourself and growing yourself as a person and getting compensated for it it's like the most amazing thing ever so don't feel like you have to know everything don't feel like you have to be perfect at everything we make mistakes still but we are just failing forward you know we make mistakes we learn from them we grow we make a mistake again we learn from it we grow and that's just the cycle of how things go i know you guys listening probably some of you are like thinking of times that i made a mistake maybe and you're like oh lauren well there's that one time you didn't check in on me with this or you forgot this or oh my gosh i had to remind you of that again like we all have things you know like i'm gonna make mistakes you're gonna make mistakes fallon's gonna make mistakes brooke hemingway makes mistakes we all do, but we learn from them and we fail forward. So just be gentle with yourself, be gentle with your team, um, be kind to each other, fail forward and be kind to yourself. And just like Elizabeth said, keep saying like, I'm a diamond, I'm a diamond, I'm a diamond, because that is what is gonna make your brain and your body do the things to get you to diamond. Um, I was just talking to Taylor Chastain about this today because she was like, I feel like I'm just already at this point. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't need to call you out, Taylor, but you're amazing at this. And um, it's so important to not just be like, okay, I'm an emerald now. I'm like, hmm, this is so nice and sit back. Like, no, I'm an emerald and I'm working toward the next goal already. And that's how we all should be. You're a silver, great. I hope you're working toward gold. Your goal, great. I hope you're already thinking what you need to do to be senior gold. Like we always need to be moving forward. Um, Elizabeth has talked about this a lot. We're not just running a race and getting to a finish line. We're running through the finish line and then we're gonna keep going to that next part of the race. So um, don't slow down. Don't just sit back and relax when you hit some kind of goal that you have for yourself. Keep going through that um, because that's how you're gonna be successful too. Um, let me see if I missed anything. A lot of the stuff that I learned, you guys, in this past year, I, if I wouldn't have gotten my butt on the team calls and the book clubs, I would not be here doing this call for you guys today. I wouldn't know any of this. Um, if I didn't reach out to my leaders every single day and ask them legitimate questions and like actual questions about things that I need to do to get better, I wouldn't be here today. If I didn't get out of my comfort zone and start making videos, posting consistently, um, making sure I'm following up with my people and leading my team instead of just like sitting back and being worried about it, I wouldn't hear, be here making this call for you guys. So um, believe in yourself, ask for help from your leaders, empower yourself to figure out where information is and empower your team to figure out where information is and um, yeah, all the things that I've said already, like you can do this. If we can do this, you can do this. I'm a physical therapist full time. Elizabeth is a physical therapist full time and has four kids. Rochelle has seven children and homeschools. Like we all have these different stories and we all have stuff going on, but we can all do this if we just believe in ourselves and do the steps to get ourselves there. So. I hope I didn't talk too long, but I got real excited about a few things. So anyway, um, if there are any other questions, I'm sure Rochelle will leave a little time for that. And if not, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to answer any remaining questions you have. Oh, Lauren, I loved it all. I heard the passion coming out and that's really what it is. It's passion. We are purpose driven. We are passion fueled. Um, we, we starve our distractions and we are just going like Elizabeth and Lauren just mentioned too, running through the finish line. We're just, anybody can do this. Like we are not anything special. Like we are just doing the things we're just doing the things you guys. So, you know, I don't know if you've heard of action stack three, two, one. These are our IPA. This is our IPA chat that we do every month. And um, you guys, I did three, two, one all the way up to Senior Ruby. I started, they didn't even have Action Stack. 
until I hit Senior Ruby. It was this new thing that Wendy Larson actually had come up with. And it was like, oh, here's a new action stack. And she had all the little things printed up. And I'm like, oh, I am loving this. Anything Wendy Larson has to say, I'm all over it. And so um, me, she was one of my people that I always watched. Lauren gave some examples of who her people were that she looks at. And I follow a lot of them as well. I love that Brooke Hemingway is so much. Oh my goodness. And another point with Brooke Hemingway is Megan Goff. She's another diamond that I love. And I talked with her at convention last year, uh, my first convention as a jewel. And I got to go to the jewel lounge and like go on stage and all of the things. And Elizabeth and Lauren are going to get to do that this year too. And I'm so stinking excited about them being on the stage with me because I did not really like being up there by myself. Okay. I'm just saying like my goal is to be in Hawaii with all of you guys, like my whole team. I want you all there. Um, but Megan Goff talked to me about how when she was stuck, I forget what rank she said she was stuck at, but she told me, she said, I said, well, what did you do? And she said, uh, well, I went and I watched every single Brooke Hemingway video and I did all the things that Brooke Hemingway did. So you guys, Brooke Hemingway, she is really smart. Her, she is a retired nurse. Um, her husband is an ER doctor. Like he just hit Sapphire. She is a diamond Sapphire. She's like almost a di double diamond. We have two double diamonds in the company. She's going to be the third double diamond. She's amazing. So definitely follow her, look at her stuff. She is amazing. But just a couple other things that I wanted to point out um, is that, you know, what they're saying is, oh, I'm a diamond. I'm a diamond. I say this all the time. Like I am so a diamond. I, my paycheck just hasn't caught up with me yet. I've got my kids over here that we went to Target the other day and my little seven-year-old picked out a shirt that had a diamond on it. And she was like, I am a plexus diamond. And all, it's just so cute. Like they are dreaming with us. Elizabeth mentioned dream with your family. Like this is what I did too. I got a dream board together. Like I asked them, what did they want to do? Like we were dreaming together. They wanted to go to Hawaii with us. And um, we only took three of them with us the last time, but the rest of them are asking if they can go this year. And I don't know, it's our 20 year anniversary. My husband's kind of like, um, I really don't want all these kids going with us to Hawaii, but we'll see. Um, but I want to take them with, I've seen different diamonds take their whole family with, and I just love that. And I want to do this with them. And what are we doing? all this for. We're doing this to share it with people, to change people's lives. I personally think of this as such a ministry. Um, I definitely am not in this for myself. If I was in this for myself, you guys, I probably would have quit a long time ago. Like I am here for the people. Like I am here to help people and to minister to people and to love people. So if I can say anything to add on to what Elizabeth and Lauren have shared is just love your people. You guys don't be in the back office focusing on all these points, like these points in the back office, they're people. Just love your people. Just love them. Just talk to them. Just help them. Look at what they're taking. Ask them questions. Tweak some things if you need to, you know, and just focus on them, okay? Um, another thing, your team culture. I don't know about you guys, but we seriously have the best team in all of Texas. So I know that I'm totally biased, but we really do, you guys. Like, I love this team. Like, I am very big on team culture. I am very big on getting together. So I live in North Carolina, so I'm really big on meeting up um, and doing some just local events. And I know that Elizabeth and Debbie, they have done different events up in Michigan. Um, it's super important. If you guys, wherever you're at, wherever your teams are, like get together with your local people. Um, also, like Lauren said, get to convention, you guys, like it is the best thing ever. And it will change your business. It will change your life. Um, not just business related, but it'll definitely change your business. It'll build so much belief. When I first went to convention, I was a senior gold. And I told you guys, I just wanted to get my products paid. I was not really sitting here trying to think about being a diamond. Like I really wasn't, but my team was just kind of growing naturally because I did have influence. I did love people. I was just sharing and doing the things like posting and talking to people and re reaching out and following up. That's all I was doing. I was not doing anything super duper extravagant. I had six kids at the time and I was homeschooling and I didn't think I had time, you know? And so I wasn't doing a lot of stuff. Now my life looks different because I am an Emerald. I have a big team, so it's different. But I went to convention and I saw people standing on the stage that were talking about how they shop at Payless. They bought this dress on the clearance rack. Um, I heard people talking about how they were able to give back to so many different organizations. People were buying orphanages in different countries. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And I said, right then and there, I was sitting at the top, like in the nosebleed section, looking down at all these people and all the diamonds were on the floor. And then the, all the diamonds were on the stage. And that was the first year that my cousin Fallon, who is our diamond ambassador above us, 
she was on the stage for the first time that year. And I was like, oh my gosh, Fallon is on the stage. And I remember thinking, I told my husband right then and there, I said, you just watch me. I am going to be on that stage. Like I am going to do this. These people are normal everyday people like me. Like, why can't I do that? Like, why not me? You know? Um, and so, and uh, my inspiration too is always Brenda Martin. Cause I have seven kids and I feel like nobody has more kids than me except Brenda Martin. <laughs> she has 11. And so I always would be like, Oh, if Brenda Martin could do this, I could totally do this, you know? Um, but you guys looking at the team culture, looking at the, so the, the, so let's just recap real fast. Okay. So how did we get to Emerald? What did we do? What, what does our IPA look like? What does our day look like? What does our team look like? You have to be 100% having belief. When you get, there was a question in here, um, how do you overcome excuses and oppositions? When you have people that come to you, you will have them, you guys. You will have no's, and it's okay if you have no's. No's leads to yeses, lead to yeses. It takes on average seven no's before you get a yes. You will get no's, you will get opposition, and you will get people that have negative things to say. It's okay. When you have that 100% unshakable, rock solid belief in yourself, in Plexus, in the products, in network marketing, then it doesn't matter what anybody else is going to say because you know that these products are backed by science and you know that they're working for the masses and you know that we are not just out here selling supplements, that we are passionate people that are ministering to others and changing lives. We are hope feelers, we're world changers, we're difference makers, all of those things, okay? So when you have that, it, those no's are not going to bother you, okay? And you don't let them bother you. If they are bothering you, get with your sponsor, they will help you, okay? So you have to have that rock solid, unshakable belief. You have to have a positive mindset. You have got to focus on positive things. And if you have a problem with negativity or anything like that, you gotta get into some books. You gotta read The Magic of Thinking Big. You need to read the Bible. You need to read Millionaire by Halftime. And you need to read The Charge. Like there are a whole bunch of different things that we could give you um, as examples, but you need to get your mindset Right. And you need to focus on positive affirmations, telling yourself, I am a master recruiter. I love people. That's what Fallon had to tell herself. She didn't even like people. She told herself for so many years, I don't even like people. That's negative, you guys. So she had to overcome that. Like she had to tell herself, I like people. I love people. You know, um, whatever it is that you're struggling with, you're going to flip that around and make it a positive affirmation. So if you say to yourself, I don't have time, you're going to say, I have all the time in the world. I don't know, whatever you're going to say, but you're going to flip it around and you're going to talk about how you're making this a priority. I am making this a priority. Okay, maybe you don't have time, but you're making this a priority, okay? So you got to have that belief. You got to have that mindset. You have to do your IPA, you guys. You have to post. You have to follow up, reach out, and follow up, okay? You have to do your IPA. You have to have your personal growth reading the books, getting on book clubs, getting on team calls. You have to be coachable. Like Lauren said, she's coachable. That's something that Fallon Black always told me uh, what part of my success was, is she's always told me, you are coachable, Rochelle. You're coachable. This is why you're successful. You have to be coachable. If you have a, your sponsor telling you something, it might be, you know, constructive criticism, right? Take it as a compliment that they love you and that they care about you and that they know that you have given them your goals and that they are trying to help you. That's all that is, okay? We love you and we want to help you with your goals because like Elizabeth said, we're meeting you where you're at. This is not about us. This is about you guys, okay? Um, and then, um, okay, so I lost my train of thought in here. Hang on. So coachable. Oh, and then the no excuses. Like, do not make excuses and don't, don't, because it'll block, it'll block your growth. Um, just like skepticism can block our healing. It can literally block the healing channels in our body with that skepticism because our minds are so powerful. Um, if you're making excuses and you're telling yourself negative things, it can definitely have a detrimental aspect to your business. So definitely focus on no excuses. I will tell you, Elizabeth and Lauren both, one of the big reasons why they are sitting at Emerald right now is because they are no excuse kind of girls. Four kids, physical therapists working full time on the weekends, no less. Um, or she's a single mom, like two nights out of the week because her husband's gone doing his thing at the church or whatever. She is still doing the things and she is not making excuses. She may get on book club with her kids in the background with her because she has, can't see him during the weekend and she wants to spend time with him, even if it is 10 o'clock at night, but she is on the book club. Okay. She is learning and she's doing, and she's doing it with them. You know, Lauren Smithson, she, anytime anybody says anything to her about, Hey, you should do this. Hey, you should make a video on that. Hey, you should do this. She's like, 
well, this scares me a little, but I'm doing it. And she's excited about it. And she's out of her comfort zone. And so this is why she's successful. This is why Elizabeth is successful. So all of these things, I hope they all helped you. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Do not ever quit. You guys don't ever quit. Like it doesn't matter. You, if you don't quit, you will be a diamond. Like, I don't know how long it's going to take you to be a diamond, but you will be a diamond. Fallon told me that a long time ago and I believe it. And it is the truth, you guys. So just don't ever quit. I don't care how hectic or hard your life gets. I promise you, everybody has some type of stress and hecticness and chaos and whatever. We are getting ready to move out of state with seven kids. Like I just can't even tell you how crazy and chaotic my life is and what is happening. My team is blowing up. I just got two emeralds on my team. What in the world? Like you just, it doesn't matter. Like you just do what you can do. And what I tell myself, my positive affirmation right now for the last month has been, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like God can do this through me. Jesus and Plexus, you guys. Hashtag Jesus and Plexus. That's just the only way. <laughs> but um, anyone can do this, you guys. Anyone. We are nothing special. So just have that belief in yourself. Have that positive mindset. Do the things. Listen to what we're saying. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Follow the successful people ahead of you. This is what all of us have done. This is what Fallon did. She followed the successful people ahead of her. She always talked about Sonia Dudley. So what, would I, what did I do? I went and looked at Sonia Dudley because that's who she was talking about. I don't need to try to reinvent any wheels over here, you guys. We all have things to do. We're all busy. Our plates are all full. They may be full of different things, but they're all full. We don't need to reinvent any wheels. Just do what the successful people are doing. So if your upline says to you, oh my gosh, you got to get on this book club with me. Don't make excuses. Don't sit here and say, well, you know, it's, 9 30 at night and I'm kind of tired. Okay. But you can do that one night a week. Team call and book club are 30 minutes each. Clearly you can see sometimes we go over, but this is not very often. Okay. And it's an hour a week. You guys, you can give yourself an hour a week. If you're home with your kids, let your husband watch them for 30 minutes. Those nights, like my kids love it when I have team calls. Cause they're like, oh, I get to stay up with daddy. Do you have daddy time? Like this is so exciting. And they love it. You guys, people that are on the West coast, they're in the middle of dinner. When it's nine 30 on the East coast, they're in the middle of dinner. Nicole Spellman is on here eating her dinner half the time, every Monday night and every Thursday night, but she is on the calls and she is doing the things. So you guys just don't make excuses. Do it. Anybody can be successful. Just do you guys have anything else you want to add fast, Elizabeth or Lauren, before we close it out? I had a note that I wanted to, uh, to say that I didn't, and it's not really relevant at this moment, but I just want to say, like, um, not everybody's going to support you all the time necessarily. I don't want to end this this way, but there's going to be times when you have people that maybe are like, what are you doing? I've had some people lately ask me, like, what do you do when people on, in your family don't really support it because I've had that happen Rochelle I don't know if you're <laughs> okay with me sharing this excuse me um but despite all of that just push through anyway and do this for yourself because um I love my husband so much but he has been really not as I don't know he's supportive but he was skeptical for a long time and I'm emerald right now and this is just when he started to turn that around so it just takes time for people um so just don't worry about that so much don't let it block you at all just keep pushing forward because it's just it's your life and those people don't pay your bills and if it is your husband then prove them wrong um that's what I had to do I just had to keep showing up last year um for leaders retreat I was like oh my gosh there's a cruise I really want to go on this cruise and he legitimately told me, you're not going to go on that cruise. Like, I don't think you're going to. And I love him. And he knows that I've told people this, so it's okay. Um, but what did I do? I earned the cruise and all but one of the prizes. So um, you just do it anyway. And you prove them wrong and make yourself proud because that's really what matters in the long run. So that's just a little aside that I forgot to mention earlier. Totally true. It goes right along with the oppositions and the negativity. Those people do not pay your bills. They do not have your dreams in their hand. They do not know that your kids want to go to Disney World or that they want a dog. So you keep doing what you are doing because it's what God wants you to do or whatever it is. Like just, that's what I, that's why I do it. Cause God wants me to do it, but you just keep pushing through and don't let anything ever, ever get in your way. Tiffany Wilson, her son had cancer. Like there are so many stories that we could like literally sit here all night and talk about, but we can't do that really. <laughs> um, but 
do it anyways, you guys. Just do, and now she's diamond. Tiffany Wilson just hit diamond. She was Fallon Black's first diamond and her son had cancer. Like just, you guys, you just never know the power of all of this. So Elizabeth, I see you unmuted. Did you have something to share? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Well, and, and it's so true. My husband, you know, is like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. And I'm like, then you do the dishes. Then I would have so much to do, you know? Um, but what he did learn too, is that Plexus makes me happy and he wants me to be happy. And so he's like, okay, I'll put the groceries away, you know, because <laughs> that's not that he necessarily, and I don't, and I don't even mind doing household chores. Like I don't mind doing them. And so it's, it's not a big deal to me, but anyway, um, it's kind of funny. So he's, he definitely, um, has learned to be more supportive and he like, you know, he does, he sees the vision now he's caught on quite a bit. Um, but what I was going to say is about convention. So I hadn't even, I knew I wanted to start sharing at some point. I just knew I needed to like get teaching out of the way and whatever with my life. And my kids were younger than Emmeline was only a year old. So they were like one, three, five, and seven when I started sharing. And so, you know, when you have smaller ones, you're doing more physical taking care of them. Um, and so I saw the posting for convention. I saw some pictures from the year before about convention. And I was like, I think I want to go to convention. I started talking to Debbie about it. I was like, Debbie, tell me about convention. Like, what does this mean? And I work weekends and I can't really have a lot of weekend time off. And so I was like, oh, it's not during weekend time. Like maybe I could go. And so I really thought about it and then just was like, oh, you know, I was afraid to talk to my husband. I was like, what am I going to do with the kids stuff and how would all of that work? And so I didn't really pursue it and make it happen. And I kicked myself for an entire year. I'm not even joking. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have gone. My friend that I referred to that had been sharing Plexus the same time that Debbie was, she was there. She's taking pictures with like the diamond seat cover and like, you know, smiling behind it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, why am I not there? And so I, I literally kicked myself for a year. And then when I did go, you know, as soon as convention registration opened up in January, I like call my husband. It opened up. Do you want to go? And he's like, uh, I'm like, I need to know right now. <laughs> like, I am registering right now. And he's like, yep, I'll go with you. Signed us both up. We show up. And I'm like, jumping out of my seat, crying. Like, it was amazing to just be a part of something so huge. And to see so many people honoring God through this opportunity, you know? Like, they're thanking the Lord for the opportunity. They're using the resources that they're earning with Plexus to honor God with um, ministries and other opportunities. And so, I mean, I have chills right now just talking about it. So I just asked my uh, girl at the salon today, which waterproof mascara she recommended, you know, so it's a real thing. It's an amazing opportunity that we're part of. So I also could talk more and more about a lot of things, but I will stop. <laughs> Clearly you can see that we are all super passionate, you guys, and we just wanted to make sure that we put everything all into one call so that you can go back and watch it, pause it, take notes, whatever you need to do. But um, I hope that this has all been really helpful to you all. Know that this is such a huge, 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 amazing opportunity. Um, and just really dream big with your, with your family, you guys. Don't, do not let yourself just Think that you can't do it and tell yourself those negative things because you really, really can. Anybody can. I can tell you that um, Lori Welch, who is over Fallon Black, she's a diamond as well. Um, she told me the first time I talked to her, she told me that um, when the first year that they went to Hawaii, they the question was asked, how many of you just started this business to get the cheapest, pri the cheapest prices? And they said 75% of the room stood up. So these are all jewels that were sitting in Hawaii. So you know, you just never, ever know. Don't ever think that your people on your team, if, even if they tell you they don't want to work the business, that does not mean anything because I told Fallon Black the same thing. I didn't want to work the business. I was too busy. You just never know. So don't ever give up on your people. Just love them, develop them, empower them, um, duplicate what you're learning and just really follow the four pillars. If you don't know what that is, there is a 
a video about it in Rock Your Purpose, look it up. It's another long video that you can watch in 15 minute increments if you need to, but definitely fill your head and heart full of these videos. Watch the things in Pink Power and Rock Your Purpose. Um, get on the Gut Health and Happiness page and look through the testimonies, read stuff in there. It will build your belief like nothing else, you guys. So um, again, I hope this all helped you guys and it added some major value to you and we will see you guys later. Cannot wait for all the rest of you to be emerald with us so you can go to convention be on the stage be in hawaii have the lexus all the things all right you guys bye